Merry Meads, everyone. I'm going to be doing a reading for the Raven 23. I'm going to be using the Mystic Dreamer Tarot deck for this reading. And I'm going to be doing a 12 house spread reading. And this is basically covering every area in the person's life that we're reading for. Um, he just wanted a general reading, um, and especially having to do with career and family. So I decided to do the 12 houses um, layout, which covers every angle in his, um, in his question. So let's see. really quick um, the question of that you asked me was pretty much again very very general and um, just to see exactly what's going on so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put out the first card which is going to start with um, the first question is your your mood, your, your mentality, how you're feeling at this moment. And we're having the Three of Pentacles in reverse. And the Three of Pentacles in reverse is basically saying that you're kind of worried right now because of your financial situation and work. Um, you're very concerned with that area in your life right now. And things aren't that, um, you feel that things aren't working to your advantage. You feel that um, things aren't going as you like. So you're kind of disappointed right now, um, and you're not very um, happy with that area in your life right now. So that's the first card in the reading. So that's how you're feeling right now. Your finances is the second card, and this is the hangman in reverse. And the hangman in reverse is saying that you're about to get unstuck. You're about to... Um, get out of that situation in which you feel that things were very stuck, things were moving that you know forward. So uh, things are starting to are going to start moving forward in the financial arena, even though you're feeling a bit stuck right now and you're feeling like things aren't going your way. Um, you're pretty much in the hangman in reverse mode, which is a card that always talks about also taking a risk and you're. And you're going to be taking risks in this area in your life and looking for, looking for more of a um, kind of getting in a mode of finding resources or finding ways to get the resources that you do need, okay, and, and to, to cover what, you know, what you're, you're expecting. So basically, you're, you're going to get progress in this area in finances. Definitely things are going to move forward and things are going to get better for you in that area. The next position is your um, regarding your experiences, your everyday life, your basic and, and, and everything in that nature. And we have the hermit. And it seems that you're very in, in, in by yourself right now. You're kind of away from a lot of people that have pretty much caused you a lot of problems in your life right now. And you're, you're, you feel alone. You feel alone, but at the same time, you feel very happy with that idea. You feel spiritually connected, and you feel like things are, even though they're kind of not too good in, in financially right now, um, you're feeling that you have spiritual assistance and that you're about to enter that period where things get better for you, and it's just a transition that you're going through right now. And that's the way, that's the way uh, things are pretty much going right now so you're you're feeling alone but at the same time you're happy that you're alone and you have a lot of spiritual guides and you're also finding out about a lot of things that you didn't know before about people that are very close to you um, you're you're finding out about these things and it's gotten you very disappointed and kind of hurt but at the same time you're very protected the next card is the family card, and we have the Nine of Swords in reverse. And the Nine of Swords, again, is a card that talks about sadness. And there's a woman or women in your family that have been very upset with you, or you have been very upset, upset with them. And there's been a lot of discord, a lot of arguments, a lot of 
bickering and a lot of um, problems. And it has to do with all these obstacles that have been in your life, and they're very worried with that. And right now, things aren't looking up in that area in your family. Um, they're kind of sad right now, and you're very hurt by this as well. And um, for now, I see things um, a little bit on the icy end, where things are a little cold and um, kind of... Um, I would say they're more, they're kind of feeling regret. They're feeling regret for things that maybe they said or maybe they, they you know, thought of you uh, or in a project that you had. So they're kind of feeling like that right now, and that's what this card is basically saying. The next card is the, um, the fourth, I'm sorry, the fifth card in the reading, and this is your creativity, your expression, um, has to do also with romance in your life. And we have the page of swords in reverse. And this card tells me that you're, there's a person or a woman with not so good intentions around you in the love area. It's saying to be careful with this woman because she's only after one thing, so it's not to your best interest. That's what the card is saying. The next card is um, having to do with the work and profession. So that's number six. And we have the four of pentacles in reverse. And this is saying that things right now in your life are kind of scattered. They're, they're not stable, okay? Um, things are not stable in your career right now. Things are kind of up in the air. And there has been like a little bit of not structure or not... Things are not in line right now as you want them to be. But again, four is always a good number even if it comes reversed because it's saying that things will eventually get stabilized or stable and things will, will be, um, again, in, in a very, um, things are going to get stable indefinite, indefinitely. Okay, so let's put this card right over here. Trying to cover, like, and make sure that we could get the, all the the cards in. Let's maybe put them all like this. We could put them like that, so we could kind of get them in the camera. The next card is the um, number seven card, and this is your partnership again. This is going to focus more in your love area. Again, we have five of wands. This is a card that talks about conflicts, about arguments, about problems. So if this person is the one that I was talking to you about, which came out here, the page of swords in reverse, it seems that you're with someone or dating someone that is giving you a lot of battles and a lot of problems right now. Um, there is a lot of arguments in, in the horizon in your love area, and a lot of changes as well and transitions. So again, this is a card that talks about in the position of love, there is some conflicts, there is some problems that are in your love area. Um, the next card has to do with revelations and secrets, and we have the lovers. And there, this is a card that talks about making a decision about something or choice about something. And again, revelation means that you're going you're gonna to be in a position where you're going to have to make a decision where you thought you were never going to have to do about a circumstance that comes in your life totally unexpected, okay? And it has to do with a woman or women, two women that come out here. Um, so you're going to feel like, like, wow, I can't believe I have to make this decision about this situation, that kind of thing. So that's what's coming out here. The next position is your possibilities in regarding your projects or any projects you have. And we have the King of Pentacles in reverse. And this is saying that regarding finances um, and regarding anything having to do with material, there's going to be some obstacles and some challenges presented by a man. A man is going to be kind of in opposition for you or it's going to bring you problems in this area regarding your projects. Again, the next card has to do with work, and this is the Seven of Wands in reverse. It's saying that you're going to have some obstacles in overcoming some a problem. Okay, so there's going to be some obstacles. You're going to feel like you're not going to be able to get out of a situation as you would like. Okay, and I'm running out of time, so I'm going to do part two really quick, and then so we can finish the reading. <laughs> 